Hi, this is uh, Sunny from Wang Wu Shui Jiao and Sukhoi Kung Fu Yoga. I'm going to go over really quick um, the move uh, Shou Tui, drawing leg, which is one of our uh, basic uh, leg practices, and the, how the solo move uh, affects how you use it in a, with a, in, in a live situation. So, Chou Tui uh, is, a, is a move that helps you escape, okay? Most all of our basics have to do with um, building up your ability to get out of throws, how not to be thrown. So right now Trevor is going to do, half speed is going to do um, the move G Zhuang uh, against me. And you're going to see I'm going to use Cho Tui with my left leg to get out of it. Okay? All right, so you see, I used Cho Tui to get out of it. One more time, watch the left leg. So, Chote, Chote is a move that you use um, to escape. So, up Trevor really quickly, go ahead, facing the camera, go ahead and do uh, three or four Chote, um, standing high. Good, that's good. So, this move right here, um, in our solo moves, is how we practice um, to escape out of the technique. Now, what I always tell people is, you're not practicing to escape from an average or crappy technique. You're practicing to escape from a technique that's been put on you very well, where you're in a really bad position. Where you need these, these exercises is when you're in the worst possible position, you still need to be able to find balance, strength, and mobility, okay? When you're in the worst possible position. So, when he does, if he does, his G, and it's not very good, just do kind of a poorly G. I can, my children doesn't have to be very good to get out of it. You barely have to train for that, okay? But, if his G is really low, I'm down low, okay? He steps into it, and I'm really crossed up. That's when I have to get, be able to get my leg out of it, right? So when we do the solo move, okay? Just do the first step. Boom. We step right here, we step to a crossed up position, right? We step to this crossed up position because when he puts me into G, if he's done this well, my feet cross up, okay? This is when he's done G very well. If my feet haven't crossed up and I'm able to keep this foot forward, I'm not in as bad a position. I can do something else to get out of it. So he steps into his choked way, boom, he's in his crossed up position. His hips are down, his chest is relaxed and slightly forward, okay? You're not bending over, but your chest is forward, right? You don't want to lean up and back. He keeps this chest relaxed and slightly forward as he chotoys out of it. Go ahead and chotoy. Good, so you see how his chest stays down and forward? This is because when he puts this move on me, go ahead, right? He's not allowing me to lift up out of position. He's keeping me down. So I have to be able to relax and come out. Okay? Now also, when he does this, you can see that he doesn't lift his hips up very high. Whatever height he's at, he tries not to raise up very much. Go ahead. Good. He's keeping his hips up. Not, I right, do it wrong when you go ahead and stand up. And you see? Standing up. Okay? You need to do it. Keep your hips down. Good, your hips are down, right? You see that? That, once again, is because when he puts, when he goes down here, I can't lift up. My hips have to stay down to be able to step out of it. Next, when he's doing this, he's pulling his weight back. His weight's coming onto the back foot. Right? And he's stable. He's hitting that position, and he's staying nice and stable. That's because when he does this to me, Okay? I have to pull my weight out to get it here, right? That way, I'm not, in, I'm not in this dangerous position. If I keep my weight here and just try to lift my leg out, he can trap it and still continue with the throw, okay? Now, the very last thing, this is something that most people put as too important, okay? As too important with their choke weight, 
is the hands, okay? A lot of people, when they do their chotoi, they're just going, they're really getting this, thinking that it's the hands. The hands are the least important thing in this, okay? The hands just stay relaxed. Everybody thinks that when you do something, when somebody does GDU, you just move out and into shoulder. Um, I have never, it's a good way to practice sometimes to work a little bit on your flowing from one move to the other, but I've never seen this done in a very high level competition, okay? So it's definitely not the thing that you should be focusing on the most when you're practicing. So when you're doing your solo move, okay, the first thing you focus on, strong legs, uh, crossing up, right? Next, relaxing the chest, relaxing the waist, keeping the hips down as you choke away, boom, pull back. The hands are just relaxed and loose. If they come by the leg, it's okay, but it's definitely not the most important thing that you need to worry about, okay? So, again, as you do it, Follow me, comes in, I can get out, okay? You need to practice choke choice so much that you don't have to think about it. It has to be, it has to be a uh, reflex, okay? It has to become um, instinctual in your movement. That's why these are part of our basic warm-ups, and we do them every single day, regardless of if it's your first day or your you know, 15th, 20th year, you do these exercises. So, okay. thank you.